In this ISTQB Agile Tester Certification tutorial, I'm going to talk about behavior-driven development. Now, behavior-driven development approach is very similar to test-driven development approach. The only difference is that in test-driven development, you have uh, you define the test cases at the unit test level in behavior driven development it's more of at the user focused or the application behavior level so there are a lot of comparisons that you can do between tdd and bdd uh, the difference is the way the test cases are written and uh, the, uh, there is some difference in the process though when how those test cases are implemented now in bdd test cases are written in plain english uh, language and these test cases are very easy to understand for non-technical users or business users as well so anyone who will be reading the bdd test cases will be able to understand what functionality is expected from that particular product or that particular application now tests in bdd are more user focused or customer focused and aim at explaining the application behavior so test cases in bdd explain how the application should behave uh, once it is implemented test cases in bdd use examples to clarify requirements so there are multiple examples that are defined in bdd test cases um, to clarify the requirement around those test cases then bdd approach is driven by business value so any test cases or any user story or um, scenario that is de defined in behavioral driven development has to have some business value there you shouldn't be building or you won't be building anything in bdd approach that is that doesn't have any business value so first thing is whatever you're doing or whatever you're building whatever you're writing in bdd approach does it have any business value and then you define a user story acceptance criteria and the test cases around that in bdd approach now bdd frameworks there are many um, BDD framework, but the BDD framework uh, define acceptance criteria uh, based on given, when, then format. So BDD framework um, can be implemented with many tools uh, out in the market. So you have uh, tools uh, in Java with support that you have tools in Ruby, Python. So there are different flavors or different uh, technologies that have used the BDD framework, uh, which uh, defines the acceptance criteria in given, when, then format and helps the developers to um, write the code and testers to automate that code or the test cases using a BDD approach now what uh, in in the next slide we'll see uh, what uh, a sample user story uh, template so if you see here uh, the user story in BDD approach has it starts with like as certain type of user I want some goal so that some reason so the example of that would be so for example you are um, writing a user story for enrolling to my courses in um, the in the training portal so you will write as a rcv academy user i want to enroll in istqb agile training so that i can watch my training modules so you have a user here so type of user so as a rcv academy user I want to enroll you are doing something you want to uh, perform some action so that you can have some benefit so that you can watch the, your um, training modules so this is a sample um, user story example now in that user story you can have multiple scenarios so uh, scenarios uh, start with the for, uh, with the keywords like given when then and uh, and but etc so there are many keywords defined in the gherkin language that can be used to define the scenarios in the user story so we won't get into more details of that gherkin language and the keywords as of now you just uh, need to understand the scenario will have the keywords like given when then and there could be multiple scenarios within the user story so scenario could be something like given i am on the rcv academy online training portal when i try to log in using my email and password then i should be redirected to training portal homepage. so that's the first scenario that could be um, that is possible in this particular user story second scenario could be um, when you are on the home page 
given you are on the RCV Academy training portal homepage, when you try to enroll or when you try to click on the ISTQ Bay Agile training uh, link, then you should be able to um, you should be redirected to the ISTQB Agile training page. So that's another scenario that will form um, uh, that will form the basis of your test case uh, as a tester and for the developer as well. And that these are all the scenarios that are defined in the user story and form the acceptance criteria for the user story. So there is always a business context in acceptance test driven develop uh, sorry in a behavioral driven development approach. Now, what is the approach? So what are the steps in behavioral driven development approach? So BDD begins with user story to identify scenarios which must be fulfilled by the software. So BDD approach, it begins with the user story. So you define a user story and within that user story, you have a lot of scenarios which must be fulfilled as part of that particular user story. Now testers, once they get that user story, they validate or they write tests to validate those acceptance criteria or uh, to uh, validate those behavior or the scenarios that have been defined in the user story um, and write the test cases around that. Then developer in the BD environment has to implement code in order to make sure that those test cases pass. The third step is that developer goes through the user stories goes through the scenarios that have been defined in the user story and then he ensures that all the scenarios have been met or being addressed by the code that is he, he has developed uh, along with this developer also goes through the scenarios or the test cases that testers have defined from those scenarios and ensures that all those test cases or edge cases defined by the testing team have also been met. Then developer refactors code until all the test cases that have been defined by the developer and the tester are passed. So this is the whole cycle. The cycle is almost or the approach is almost similar. You define the test cases um, and then developer writes the code in order to pass the, uh, or uh, fulfill the scenarios and the test cases defined in the user story and refactors the code until all the test cases are passed. The approach is almost similar to TDD and acceptance test driven development. The difference is that there is a lot of um, focus on the customer and how the software or the application should behave and focus on the business value. So if there is a business value, then there'll be user story defined and test case defined. Otherwise in BDD approach, you do not work or define any user story or requirement if there is no business value or business outcome for that particular requirement. So that's all about behavioral driven development approach. Thank you.